Scott Douche. Joey Moss, bad boy gaming. Good old GZ, Ground Zero in Strongsville, Ohio, baby. These are all going in the shop. I'm only gonna crack two right now. Just two. This, this blade seriously confuses me at times. Always cut away from yourself. There we go. Now, I should be uh, cracking open the final three. I'm just gonna show you the numbers on these really quick. For patrons, bada bing, bada bing, bada boom. I'll be cracking those uh, this weekend. Yes, and getting those out to you guys. But we're gonna do two quick boxes. Right meow. Is that a good thumbnail? Probably not, because no one can read that. Wink. Ooh. Two boxes. Let's go. Why does it seem so dim in here? Can we brighten things up? Oh, can you brighten up my day? I think I'm gonna write a song. And I'm gonna write it to you. It's gonna be my song. From me to you. Enough of the jibber jabber, the flipper flapper, the whippy wappy, the wampy stompies, and the skidinkle dinkles. All right. Most expensive legends that I've opened. Most reserve list, I think it was about 50, 60 bucks. I know. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Would have been cool if they put a legends card in there. That's what they should have done. Just thrown one Legends card at random in every single collector box. Wouldn't that have been a sweet idea? That would have been the box topper. I think that would have been sweetness. Oh, Jimmy Eat World, the sweetness. What a great song. All right, two boxes. Let's do the box toppers first because usually there's really not a whole lot of value going on here. You know what I'm saying? If you guys watch football, let me know what football team... Uh, that you follow, NFL-wise, or college, whatever the case may be. I'm a Browns fan, I know. That means I'm destined for a lot of disappointment and depression. This is true. Show wink. All right, nothing too spectacular there. Are you guys prepared for this? Because I am. Where's my trash receptacle? Oh, I probably left it in the porcelain facility. I like talking like that. Silliness. I know. Sacred Peaks. What would he do? Come on, baby. I need to extract the demons from within and give a mighty howl to the magic gods. And the only way to do that is more cowbell. So if you guys can help me, that'd be sweet. Urtai resurrected. All right. Well, that was Mr. Frump and Dump, and I don't know how we just confused those piles. There we go. All right. Pack number Goose. Mr. Mossberg, your goose is cooked. No one teacher used to say that. Leonard Reinhardt. I hope he's still with us. Nobody knows. Uh, but he was my eighth grade history teacher. And man, I would walk in class and he'd be like, ah, Mr. Moss, Mr. Moss, so it appears, so it appears. You're late as always. Have a seat in the hallway. I'm like, but the ground's cold. He's like, hemorrhoids are a thing. I'm like, okay. Caves of Colios. Ah, oh, Lenny Reinhardt, man. He had these real thick bottle, uh, bottle cap glasses. He was a treat, man. He was a real treat. Oh, so it appears, so it appears. I'm like, how can you even see me? <laughs> All right, still haven't pulled anything fantastic, but it's coming right now. Mm -mm, Valiant Veteran. Well, that's something. These, uh, the Lords. The Lords, I tell you, man. If the Lords have all bottomed in price, I highly suggest you pick up a play set of each because they will continuously go up, 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 and away. Da -da 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 -da. Also, who the hell took my advice? Who are the lucky few? Obelisk, obelisk. Who are the lucky few that took my advice and picked up a whole bunch of Mox Ambers when I told you to? I remember they were eight bucks. And I'm like, yeah, you gotta be high off your rocker if you're not gonna pick up as many as you can possibly fit into a waste paper basket. All the different ways we can say trash can, you know? 
Good old garbage. All right. Ooh, boom, come on. Mm, mm. It's, uh, yeah. I can feel that. Yes, yes, Lily. And Druid Exile, dudes. Okay. I don't think it's worth much, though. But if you did listen to me, guess what? It went from $8. From eight dollars to like sixty-six bucks. That's maddening cacophony. But I knew it would. Ooh, riff. it looks like it's worth a lot of money, doesn't it? But it's not. All right, this dude. And um, yeah, I picked up quite a few. The Lady of Altario. Shaper of Fan Historian Spoon. I probably have about mm, I'd say 30 to 50. I don't even I don't even know. 30 to 50 Mox Ambers that I paid anywhere from $8 to $24 at most, I want to say. Uh someone do the math. Can you crunch the math? Let's just do the average there. Crunch the math. If I purchased oh, the Raven Man, that was nice. Hey, the Reaver Cleaver. That's not that's not bad at all. But if I picked up a total of let's just say 40 I, I probably have more than that but let's just say 40 Ooh, i don't see that one too often and i paid average 14 dollars, and they're now going for 66 bucks how much profit did joey make the world may never know somebody crunch the numbers for me and uh yeah i'll pin your comment i appreciate it also <laughs> I know I'm bragging right now. Can, can you tell? But I told you guys all you could be bragging. I hope some of you are bragging with me right now. I had a few, uh, a few friends and uh, uh, patrons as well. Oh, Johnny Sleeper Agent, get a load of that. <laughs> uh, I had a few friends and uh, patrons pick up a whole bunch. I think one guy bought ten. Another guy said he bought 20. And this is all when they were going for like eight to like $15. And I'm like, buy, 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 buy. And uh, people listened. And that was pretty cool. But, Vesuvian Diplomancy, Diplomancy. I also have a booty load of foils. This is correct. I have about... I, I gotta brag. I, I don't really boast too much. But gosh darn it, when I do... Even Pepperidge Farm will remember. When I do... Uh, it's good stuff. I have about... I want to say tw uh, 15 to 20 foil promos. Or not foil promos. Uh, foil pre-release. And I also have... That's a slick looking card. If I've ever seen one. Tatsuo. Ooh. Look at all that on the bottom. Ooh. And I also have... Ooh. Back to back Danifa. I'd say about 25 regular foils. And the foils are nuts, man. Foils are like anywhere from like 95 to like 130 they sell for. That's pretty insane. Moss, Beard, Ancient. I didn't even know that was in here. Learn something new every day. Um, and for those, I paid anywhere from 23, 24, as high as about 45, 50. I think 50 was the absolute highest. Queen, we got the plaza. I saw that. Ooh, the old dragon master. Man, Minsk and Boone, that card, I, I totally was looking at that like, why the hell is this card only three bucks? Anytime that you think that way and you're questioning why a card is so cheap because like you know the abilities are good on it or whatever or whatever the case may be anytime you question just how i laid it out for you pick up copies of that at least a play set because i guarantee you that card is gonna go up happens every single time it's like a rule of thumb if you if you wonder why it's so cheap buy more <laughs> Uh, Silver so Scrutiny. There we go. So 
So let's say I paid 40 bucks. No, it was less than that, like 35 on average for my foils. We'll throw the pre-release foils along with the regular foils. Braids, hey, there we go. That is a solid hit. That is a very solid hit. I'll take it. It's gonna get all mixed together. But let's just say I paid 35 bucks a foil and I have a total of, let's just say 50 foils. Ooh, another braids, how you doing? Whoops, doo -doo -doo -doo. no, that goes there. Ooh, the old hex catcher. That one's solid, man. Very nice one. That's a good hit. Can I uh, mix, mix one of these up here? Sometimes they get a little crazy. Nope. Okay. But yeah, so I have 50, and I paid a total of 35 for each on average. Son of a biscuity bastard, stinking bing bang bong and boobies. I got vampire bats, stupid ass card. Uh, and the price is now, uh, I think, it's, let's just say 110, 110 bucks. How much profit did I make? Then again, I never sell them, so whatever. And on top of that, when the Brothers War drops, if I was a gambling man, I'd say right now I'm 50-50. Like, I'm on the fence. Ooh, that's a nice Superman team. I'm on the fence right now. Whether or not Wizards is going to reprint the Mox Amber in the Brothers War. I think it's a very good possibility. I know it sees a heck ton of play, and I know there are certain reasons why I kind of jumped recently. Archangel of Wrath, nice. Very nice. But typically, when, when that kind of uh, excitement goes on, from my experience... Tells me one thing. No, nah, it doesn't tell me one thing. It tells me a few things. One, it's seeing play, or you know, it's just uh, other you know new cards were printed, uh, new decks have came about that cards being included. But something else it tells me. There's always weird spikes in certain cards right before they get the reprint. I swear. I, they do reprint moxes. Not that often, but when they do, they do. It doesn't happen very often. Usually it comes in some like very glamorous form. So if they did reprint Mox Amber in the Brothers War, and I was a gambling, rambling, betting kind of man. Ooh, so calling her the taint. Can we get a double taint? Come on, let me just taint down. Hold on. Squirrel. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Squirrel? No, no squirrel today. Oops, that's gonna that's gonna fall. How did you get so messy? <laughs> but if I was a rambling gambling man, and I'm still 50-50, I'd say Mox Amber they're gonna reprint in like a fancy showcase or borderless, you know, version and probably just find in collector boosters. Maybe. And no, that's kinda crazy. Is that crazy? No, they wouldn't do it like that. They're not going to do it like that. They haven't done that yet. It'll be in the regular set, but maybe only found in collector boosters. And it'll have some fancy schmancy art going on. That's probably, like, the case. And if that is the case, then Mox Amber is going to drop way back down. Well, then again, if it doesn't have a whole lot, uh, it's not like a, a million copies flooded. Oh, damn, you sick son of a bitch. Get some of that right there. Sure, man. B E A. Beautiful. Got Silly Lily right next to Shieldred. Why didn't they? Never mind. I said it in another video. I already... Nope, not even going there. Foot and mouth. But yeah, odds are they may reprint it in this upcoming set. And then the price will drop like back down to like 25 bucks or something. But if they don't have too many copies and they're only in collectors. And, you know, maybe you're getting, like, on average one in a case or maybe, you know, one or two on average in a case at best. Then, yeah, the price will, you know, maintain a $40, $50 tag. A Johnny Sleep Agent. Mana Cannons. Mana Cannons. My Browns are playing, uh, good old Schittsburg tonight. It's about to go down. <sighs> Tainty. And Revaz. The Claw. That'll be exciting. Four packs to go. Crack Shieldred. 
the most valuable card. I think it is that still the most valuable card in the set? It might be. Or a foil borderless lily is up there. The Raven Man. <laughs> Look at that dude. That guy's a party animal. Two headed Halkite's pretty cool. Alright. Poom, poom. Ah, I'm sick of seeing Golden Stinger. Ever changing Dane. I like that name. The ever changing Dane. Guardian. Okay. Guys, three packs to go. Three packs to go. Has anyone pulled an actual good legends? Crickets in the comment section. I've heard stories. Uh, I've seen a photo of someone pulled a tabernacle and he was brand new to the game. <laughs> That's how it happens, though, isn't it? That's how it happens. Hi. Uh, yes, I'm interested in learning Magic the Gathering. Oh, sure. Well, tonight we're doing a draft. And, uh, yep, yeah, um, what you can do is uh, buy in. You get three packs. You have to pay for three packs. Oh, and, and look at that. You, you, you got a tabernacle. Well, isn't that special? Well, isn't that special? I think it's special. Demon Boy. Joda the Unifier. Joda uh, has a, uh, a good price tag on it also. Is Joda a guy or girl? I never really looked up his skirt. Or kilt. Does kilt sound better than skirt? I don't know. Any Hooters. Appreciate you guys tuning into this one. Um, whatever you do, don't leave a like because that, that helps the channel grow and more people can check out the video. But these videos are so played out already. I get it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did she get killed off yet? She should if she hasn't. What's lore got to do with it now? Boom, boom. And the old calorie. Oh, come on, go out with a bang. Go out with a bang. Tortoise. Warm speaker. Worms you control get plus two, plus two, you have trample. Uh, that's cool and all, but um, worms have really had casting cost. Solid two, uh, two boxes. Stupid vampire bats. Say something kind to someone, and they some then say something mean, but then take it back, and then give them a high five, and then slip them one of these. Got him. <laughs>